Hey there, I'm Paul Rabelais. I'm an estate planning attorney and a little bit different video here, but I want to address something that I thought could really help impact people's communities. Um, I, our law firm has dealt with oh, uh, thousands of people over the years and uh, helping them get their legal affairs in order. And maybe 98% of the clients that we've dealt with have been you know, wonderful ideal, fun to talk to, easy to talk to. We've enjoyed working for them, helping them get everything in order. They're appreciative, been fantastic. Um, our employees enjoy helping them as well. However, this video really addresses the other 2% because it's those 2% that steal all of the time and attention away from the other 98%. And so those 2% tend to be just downright ugly, not necessarily in appearance, but in demeanor. They tend to be rude and abusive to the staff. They tend to make unreasonable demands and they're quick to threaten to complain. Well, if I don't get what I want, I'm gonna to complain to the Bar Association. If I don't get what I want, I'm gonna to complain to the District Attorney or the Attorney General or the Better Business Bureau. Just lots of threats and demands. And, and so it really, it, it really can, can ruin um, the day of one of our people who are trying to help others. Now, to me, I'm thinking, you know, why, why do people act like that? And I think that some people feel like they have to act that way to, to get what they want. But what I think those people don't realize is while in the very short term, those people might win or get what they want. Yes, um, they're, they're wanting it and they're wanting it now and, and F you if I don't get it. Uh, so oftentimes our employees will be thinking, well, just to get these people off my back, I'm gonna give them what they want. And you know what? By making those unreasonable demands, they win in the very short term. But in the long term, those people lose big time because what happens next, next morning or that afternoon, staff meeting, let me tell you about Mr. Jones and, and what he said and how he hung up on me and, and how rude he was. So then we're done with Mr. Jones. In the future, if Mr. Jones ever calls back, he's gonna hear something like, well, Mr. Jones, perhaps we're just you know, not the right firm for you or something like that. We, we, uh, we're not gonna help that person given the opportunity to help them in the future because of, of how they treated us in the past. So Mr. Jones will lose big time in the long term. May, get he, may, may win, may get what he wants in the short term, but long term he is done and he is not gonna win. Everybody in our uh, little circle will know about it and it will just go from there. So um, we have a, a great staff. You know, I've handpicked them myself. Um, the, the people that we have, they, they're never going to yell at anybody. They're, they're here to help. They're helpers in general. They want to help people. They, they come to work every day to help people. That's, that's what they do. And they don't have the type of demeanor where they're going to get rude or mad or ugly. And so, um, you know, they don't deserve to be abused, cursed, uh, hung up on. So, so my advice is in, in, in the very um, you know, small picture is if, if you're gonna be that way, abusive you know, and, and difficult and demanding unreasonably, um, then in the, in the small little micro, I say don't call us, find somebody else. We, we don't want your business. Um, in the, in the big picture, what I'm hoping this does is I'm hoping that maybe if you're part of that 2%, you'll kind of second guess doing it th that way in the future. And even maybe more important, um, if you can share this video with others that you know, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, wherever, then that'll get other people thinking or second guessing themselves when they're about to, you know, 
um, you know, be abusive toward the, the staff of another business. And then also what I'd like to see you do is just, just comment your thoughts. I don't know if this, this will get controversial or, or what, but um, love to hear what you say about this concept of people being abusive and rude and unreasonably demanding uh, to try to get what they want. I, I really want to, you know, help communities and, and have it be much more, you know, amicable and supportive and long-term beneficial to all parties involved. So just thought I'd make some comments about that today. Um, look forward to reading your comments, share this, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Y'all have a great day.